Hi, I'm Pascal Doucette, Vice President of Sales for Doucette Machinery. Uh, today we have the opportunity to present to you the, the glue beam presses. Uh, so we're going to go to the feature of this equipment. Uh, so today we're going to present a 32 feet press uh, with uh, the gluing application, the moving carriage, and also the pressing cycle. Okay, we are at the end of the system here. Where we're going to overview which each, each part of the system. So here I have the roller conveyor on which the glue lamella is coming from. So in this system, we're not providing the glue applicator, but as the piece coming out over the roller, it's been glue applied on the top face. Then we rotate it and create an accumulation of the charge on the incline chain. Uh, when the charge is full, at that point, the system will rotate up and the moving carriage that I have over here is going to come and grab it up. So then at that point, the both of them are going to marry together and the carrier is going to go with the load. It's going to position in front of one of the two press and then that pushing arm here is going to push the load directly into the press. So now the load is ready. It's met our minimal uh, height. So the, the loading arm is going to get in position. Now the moving car here is going into the second press. And the pushing ram is going to take his action to move the load in. As the loading is moving in, you can, you're going to see a couple of stop and go sequence. And the reason for that is to make an even ending as we're moving in. As we could see now, I want to insist a couple of metrics on the cylinders. So we have all the vertical cylinder applying the pressure on the wood charge based on the pressure setting. Uh, so normally based on the length of the beams, uh, all the cylinder will go down. You could see some cylinder with a manual endo. That means that if you're doing a smaller length than what the price allow you to use, you can close some cylinders so they will not be activated uh, when pressing. Uh, the reason for this is going to give you a quicker cycle as not all the cylinder has to be activated and also uh, it could avoid damage to the cylinder you're not using. So now right now we're zooming on the bottom plate of each cylinder. Uh, normally those ones are fixed but as you can see the sliding guide so if you try, uh, there's an option for you if you want to do the uh, pre-camber beam. You can slide shim under each big nuts, uh, allowing you to create a slight curve all along the length of the beam. Okay, so here we are the, uh, on the other side of the carriage. So when the, the load is dry and ready to be unload, a similar arm than on the carriage is going to push out the load on the carriage. So the carriage will move out to that end and it's going to rotate back onto the exit toward the accumulation rail and to the exit row. Uh, in many other systems we sell, uh, there's more automation on the exit than the system that we just have sold. 
Sometimes it could go directly fit to the planner or not. 